Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where things are not going quite as well as I would have hoped. And the primary reason for that, we do not have the funds for this, the primary reason for that is because Britain is taking all of our money. And we need to stop that. We need Britain to stop taking our money. So the question is, how are we going to do that? Well, we can actually demand independence here. Britain would not accept that at this moment due to the following reasons. 100 due to base reluctance, 30 due to their power projection compared to ours, 50 due to our infamy level being notorious, and 10 due to the rank differential. And plus 25 because our relations are amicable. So we could definitely work on improving relations, but we actually can't do that because it's already amicable. So there's not a lot we could do that. We can we could definitely break free via a diplomatic play. We would need Russia or France or Prussia or Austria. One of these guys would have to join us. So the question is, who hates Britain? Who are they rivaled to? Literally all of those nations. Okay. So. For an independence, they would have to come here and we would just have to defend our territory. Correct? I believe that's the way that would work. That said, Persia and this bit of Great Britain up here exists. So we would have to go after this. It's a theoretical possibility if we get one of these guys on our side. In terms of our actual power, our power level is actually broadly similar to Britain's. Ish. Ish. So they're at 1848. If we were to bring up our, our power level here, and this is not going to be good for our economy, but if we were going to bring up our power level here, like so. We would also do the same for naval where possible. So something along the lines of this. And then we were to also turn up our military budget like that. 79.5k is actually not that much worse than where we are. And would we immediately stop paying the diplomatic pacts to Britain if we made this if we made this move? Possibly. Which would mean that that would basically pay for all of our existing costs. Okay, so they're 1848. We are 1651. Like I said, broadly similar. It's not quite the same. But it is similar. So the question becomes, could we get one of these guys to come in? France views us as a mistaken enemy. They're likely to try to patch up relations. We can't begin improving relations. I'm guessing... Oh, we don't have enough influence. Okay. Austria and Prussia are mostly disinterested, as is Russia. So France is the option. We're going to have to fight France eventually if we want to get this port. That's definitely interesting. So, how much is this costing us? 150? We're going to stop improving relations there and begin improving them with France. No, wait. This is Orisa. <laughs> okay, we're going to head over to France, and we are to France. We're going to begin improving relations there. Okay. So, obviously, this is a problem, right? And this isn't shocking. We need to turn our military wages back down, and we need to turn our buildings back down. This naval base was only a difference of, like, 80, wasn't it? 38? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bother turning that down. So we're going to do this. We're going to continue to run this deficit. If we're not seeing, by the end of this episode, a significant change in our finances... And actually, we should maybe just pause our constructions right now and start paying down our credit. This is going to still continue constructing our private constructions, right? So our private constructions will continue ongoing. I don't think they're going to utilize all of our available construction, but at least they'll have some construction ongoing. And this way, we can definitely we can definitely break free. In fact, we can have our military up 
but I'm not going to. It doesn't actually make sense right now. Okay. So, the real question is, can we get our relations with France up? Uh, the answer, of course, is yes. But can we get them to join in when we fight for our independence? And do we want to do that before this overt mutiny? That's also an interesting question. So we're going to spend down our credit here for a bit until our interest is down to... Well, it needs to come down quite a lot. We have a lot of interest right now. We're at least going to do this until our investment pool empties. Bare minimum, I think. Well, that's going to be a while, actually. Mm, that's like a year? Our investment pool will empty in about a year. Okay. Well, we definitely want to work down our credit. There's no doubt about that. Our interest is a big part of our problem right now, and paying that down will go a long ways. Gold was discovered in the Yukon Territory. Okay. And what is our current infamy? 67.1. We definitely want that to drop down below 50. So 166, yeah. And their power projection compared to us. So it's going to be more similar. Demanding an obligation is 11 reasons, I discovered, so it, it seems to be okay. The party will never end. Cool. So, we're at negative authority, right? That's a problem, no doubt about that. And this avert mutiny is going to time out pretty soon as well. The, the uh, Ripper is still at large. Hilarious. Unfortunately, I really don't think we're going to be able to get the land-based taxation and get it, getting rid of serfdom. We just do not have the political movements to do it. It's, it's not physically possible to get this done. That appears to be luck-based. So, as far as I can tell, that's, that's all there is to it there. Our GDP is sagging a little bit right now due to the fact that we have our construction paused. But we are down to about 60k weekly in interest. So that's good. We are also dropping our investment pool much more slowly now. Because we're working our way through the private construction queue much more quickly than we normally would. Okay, that makes sense. So as a hypothetical, if we were to resume our construction now, that's not substantially changed. Okay. Noted. So, the investment pool doesn't seem to pull out of government constructions, like, at all anymore. Is the conclusion that I'm coming to. At least that's what it feels like. This appears to be only for private construction. At least on our current laws. Our current economic system, of course, if we go in here, is on traditionalism. Which does reduce our tax capacity. I would absolutely love to get this on anything else. But there's nothing we can do about that. If we were to put additional uh, additional people into our government, would that be an... Yeah, look at the legitimacy drop. It just immediately plummets. And we need that legitimacy to deal with our radicals. So I, I feel like we can't really move anything else into government. Unless we're willing to deal with the radicalism. If we were to put the rural folk in... What, what do they endorse? They want to get rid of serfdom. But they're neutral towards abolishing it. So that's not actually useful. What about the industrialists? They would endorse interventionism or laissez-faire. And they would endorse changing our taxation capacity as well. But that would be 21 legitimacy. So we're going to have to know that this is going to be a big problem. In terms of legitimacy. 
if we were to put in the industrialists. Do they endorse getting rid of serfdom? They don't seem to care about that. Okay. We could kick out the landowners and have no legitimacy whatsoever, but something like this, or even like this, that would be literally no legitimacy. Yeah, I feel like... They endorse agrarianism. Which would be better than traditionalism. Let's put the rural folk into the government for now. Okay. We're going to have some radicalism. No doubt about that. Oh, uh, I meant to have our constructions paused. There we go. Cool. So these private constructions are going to be ongoing for now. Let's check in on our infrastructure. That looks fine for the moment. Cool. And yeah, we're researching mutual funds. We're 14 years out on that. And we just have no political movements right now. We'll see if anybody creates any. We have an unacceptable government. Yes, we are aware of that. War profiteering, huh? We'll not be shamed for our good craftsmanship. Cool. So what's our interest down to? 60k. That's definitely a big improvement. No doubt about that one. And we can see that our GDP is kind of holding firm right now. We need to get rid of our interest, but more importantly, honestly, is that diplomatic pact. We need to break free. And yeah, it, it just looks like we're not going to be getting any of our uh, political movements, most likely. So we're going to have to deal with this mutiny. But that's just RNG, it feels like. There doesn't seem to be any real way that we can affect this. At least that I know of. So, sure. We'll just RNG it for now. Our interest is down to 60k. Beautiful. And yeah, the uh, private investments are always fully covered by the investment pool. We need to come off of traditionalism if we want to have the investment pool be better utilized. That's pretty, pretty clear at this point. We'll see if we get any political movements for it. And we're going to have a lot of radicalism eventually. But for now, it seems to be reasonably fine. We're working on bringing our relations with France up in hopes that they will support our independence from Britain. But we just need to put as much money as we can into paying off our debts. It's down to 58.5k. I like it. As a hypothetical, if we were to resume our construction, what would that look like? 36.1? Okay. We want to wait at this point until that's, like, positive, right? We gotta pay down this debt. So it's down to 58k. It's going down by a pretty wide margin, actually. So that's good. We're definitely going to pay down that debt. Our GDP is continuing to slowly increase there. You wouldn't be willing to take on our debt, would you, Great Britain? I saw that you took on someone else's debt. I would like it if you'd take on our debt. I doubt they can afford to take on our debt. <laughs> okay, so they have 165 reasons to not accept this. And I think that's going to remain the case where they're always going to have a lot of reasons. Now, 50 of those reasons are our notoriety. That's understood. That's quite the coloration difference there. Okay. Cool. So we are working our way through this. We are negative in our influence right now, which is dropping our prestige, which we don't really care too much about. For the moment, that seems reasonably okay. This trade route is unproductive, and we'll get rid of it. Cool. And due to private construction, we are still working our way through our constructions here. Our investment pool is nearly half gone. And we're down to 54.9k in interest payments. That's great. If we were to hypothetically resume this, 34k. So we need to pay off like half of our debt, right? Now, that's what this means. 
At the very least, we need to pay off enough to where we weren't falling behind the way that we were previously. And we're definitely going to be close to that at this point. Are we going to be positive in the debt snowball if we start building again now? That is the primary question. And that's something that we can't really determine. Unless we just try it. Right? There's not an easy way to calculate that. Oh, we caught the Ripper. Cool. So that gives us some authority. That's nice. So I think that what we're going to do is we're just going to... We're going to do this by gut. And my gut tells me that when we're below half of our credit, we should be okay. So half of our credit is going to be 16.1 million. So we need to pay off one more million, which is going to be about 12 weeks. That seems doable. Now, we're not going to be positive once we do that. But my gut is telling me that that would be when our constructions will start outpacing our interest payments in, in terms of their growth. Fingers crossed that my gut is correct on that. We'll see. <laughs> That'll definitely be interesting to find out if I am correct on that. This is purely arbitrary. I want to point that out. There's no math going into this. This is just the way it feels. 32.3 now. That's a good sign. We're still targeting 16 million here. I'm going to go down to directly 16, not 16.1. So that's going to be virtually five more weeks, like 5.2 more weeks, something along those lines at this current income level. We're down to 50k interest, so we've definitely dropped our interest our interest cost by a good amount. Those mutual funds are still 13 years out, and yeah, this, this mutiny is going to happen. We just don't have the political movements that we need. It's strange that, hang on. We can try to enact agrarianism right now. We would also need to enact serfdom, so we're going to need to get really lucky here. I should have checked that once we put them in power. I definitely should have checked that. That's my own fault. Okay, we're at 15.9 million. Let's try resuming our construction and seeing how that feels. So construction is resumed at this point. We're at about minus 30k. And let's see how that goes. Rubber has been discovered in Gambia. Okay. And we're going to be... Why is this one not constructing? There was a patch. I'm wondering... Why is this one not constructing? I don't know. I'm going to cancel it. And check to see if we need a cotton plantation there. No. Seems to be fine. Cool. So we're going to see if this number is now reducing as we are building. It should, in theory. Well, maybe. <laughs> if my gut is correct. If we get really lucky with agrarianism, maybe. But I think that this mutiny is going to happen no matter what. We probably should have put them into power sooner and done this. I didn't think of that as a uh, way to manage it. But it probably would have. But it's okay. I'm interested in seeing what this mutiny is, actually. I know that we want to avoid it, but I want to see how bad it actually is. That That's going to be fascinating to find out. So these cotton plantations are finishing up, and yeah, we can see that our income is actually growing at this point. So I'm very comfortable with our economic situation here, I think. Yes, our debt is going to start increasing, but yeah, 17.1. This is an absolute upgrade. Wood is currently expensive. Whatever. We'll get there. And these plantations build fairly quickly, so this should, in theory, do the trick. There's not a lot of support for agrarianism. And we'll see what this mutiny ends up looking like. Five months away on that. And, yeah, we're not even going to get this first checkpoint by the time that happens. So, in retrospect, it definitely would have been better to put them into, into the government and do it this way, rather than relying on the political movements. That's definitely the correct way forward, and uh, if we end up having this East India Company playthrough happen again at some point, for whatever reason, that would be the path I would end up taking. So, 
that's definitely the way to do it. You're not going to win many friends, but to a certain extent, that's needed. But let's see what this mutiny ends up looking like. That's going to be interesting. Will fail if has seceding countries broken away. It'll be really interesting to see how this event plays out. And the fact that we're still linked to Britain probably means Britain will help us with it. And then after that, we can we can break away from Britain, would be the idea. 19.2k, 20k, it fluctuates here and there. We're working on dye plantations right now, and this should be fine. If we have to pause again, we will. But we're only up to 16.5 million credit right now. I think we're okay. I'm guessing that my gut was approximately correct. So we'll keep an eye on that. These dye plantations are finishing. Oldenburg refused to become the protectorate of Austria. Hilarious. And this is now going to be in 10 weeks. So yeah, if time runs out, triggers the event mutiny. So we're going to have the mutiny, and I'm very interested in seeing what this is. We should maybe consider raising our military before the mutiny, like in terms of their finances. But I think I'm much more interested in... Okay, a public address went awry here. That's unfortunate. Agrarianism is now at a 0% chance. We could abandon that and start to work on serfdom instead. So abolish serfdom here. We'll try that and see if we get any luckier. We're going to have six weeks. I'm actually surprised that that finished before this timed out, now that I think about it. That math is strange, right? I feel like that math is strange. In case you're wondering why this went up, it's because the uh, landowners are unhappy. We could definitely pause our construction again and work our way down. This time working down to, I don't know, maybe like 12 million in terms of credit. But with this mutiny coming up, I think that this is a wise idea because this will allow us to turn up our military. Which we will definitely do, and that'll allow that to get all changed over. And we can also go into here and bump up our military wages while still paying off our debt. So I think this will be okay. And this is about to time out. So, 10 days. Let's see what this mutiny looks like. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. War with Hindustan has broken out. So. Interesting. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So we're going to recruit a general in a bunch of these locations that actually have units. There we go. So the South India HQ, is that Sir Henry? Yeah. He can get promoted up. Uh, this guy can get promoted and again and again. And that should be all of them. There we go. This guy, I don't know if he needs to be promoted. No, he really doesn't. And this guy doesn't either. So that's fine. We can mobilize all of these fine gentlemen here. Interesting that it went directly into war with no diplomatic plan. We'll take a look at that in a moment. These guys are going to advance fronts. We're going to send these guys over to here where there's 44 units. And we're going to send these guys to here where there's 39. And then these guys are just going to go to areas with like no units at all. With their goal being to collapse some of these fronts. Okay, so something along the lines of this. We've got our mutiny event. After a long time of brewing opposition to company rule, soldiers and other locals have risen up to proclaim the restoration of the Mughal Emperor to power in northern India. As long as there remains the scent, the scent of Iman in the hearts of our Ghazis, so long shall the sword of Hindustan flash before the throne of London. So we can suppress it, or we can actually switch over to Hindustan. Okay, we're not doing that. We are intending to remain as the East India Company. So we must suppress it. So that adds this journal. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get this done. I'm not expecting that we have too much of a problem with Hindustan. Uh, what is the actual power level here? Oh yeah, that, that shouldn't be a problem. We'll crush this. It'll just take a little bit of time to get our forces over here, but it looks like we're already basically there. 
Beautiful. So we're going to take over a bunch of these areas. We have battles ongoing, and we're losing this battle, but that's fine. Look at that. We've already got a large amount of this area occupied. Before we're even able to fight these battles. So this is all good. This is absolutely not having any problems. Yeah, we're winning this. This all looks good. Like, this is super over. This mutiny was not bad. The journal made a big deal out of it, but it's not actually a problem. So what's our debt looking like? It's under 15 million. Okay, we're targeting, I think, 12 million here. But we need to get this war over first, and that war will take a little bit of time. Is Britain helping us in this? Hang on. Is Britain in this? I'm not sure if Britain's in this or not, but they don't need to be. Looks like they're not. Okay. So we're going to propose Annex Hindustan. And they won't accept this yet, but we'll get there. So these battles are very much in our favor, right? No problem whatsoever here. Rubber was discovered in the Niger Delta. Okay, cool. And this is fully occupied at this point. Like, the war is over. They just aren't ready to give up quite yet. So, next we are going to turn down our military wages and get our buildings turned down again. It is clearly not necessary to have them up. Cool. Yeah, that was really not bad. Really, really, really not bad. So we're going to pay down our debts at least until this war is over. And when would they accept this? They have 15 reasons not to. Now two reasons. So next week they should accept it. Beautiful. Uh, let's see here. That is... They would demand those. Yeah, we just want to annex Hindustan. Proposed peace deal. Cool. That was really easy. Wait, what? The end of the company? The East India Company will be reformed into the British Raj. The doctrine of lapse will be abolished, preserving the princely states. It enables the lot appointed bureaucrats and becomes a puppet of Great Britain. Fascinating. So the East India Company is now done. And now we're the British Raj. But we're still the East India Company. We now have appointed bureaucrats, giving us plus 25 taxation capacity. That is a big deal. And yeah, now we're the British Raj. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can work with that. So we're the British Raj. We're going to continue under the same goals as before. This is, I believe, the same guy in charge. We're still going to work on serfdom abolished. The question is, what would our government r look like right now? Okay, basically the same. It's the same thing under a different name. That's all this is. So we're going to have to annex these guys the old-fashioned way now. We can no longer... Let's see. Re Reform the Indies still needs to happen. Okay. Noted. But we can no longer annex these guys by event. So we're going to have to annex them the old-fashioned way. Oh, these are all puppets of Great Britain now. That's interesting. Including the ones that we conquered. Very interesting. So, that means that we need to break apart from Great Britain sooner rather than later, right? The question is, would France be willing to do that now? Maybe. Cooperative and neutral. Let's we'll see what we get on Serfdom Abolished here. Emancipators, huh? 20% enactment chance? 50% chance on that? Do it. Oh, uh, we got 10%. Sad. But that's okay. Let's resume our construction here. This will put us negative. I want to check by how much. Okay. So we still need to remain paused here. Critical radicalism for preserving serfdom, huh? That's going to create us a revolution. And we have one legitimacy right now. Ah, the landowners left because they support a political, political movement that's plotting a revolution. 
Yeah, they want to preserve serfdom. It's very rude of them. Very, very rude indeed. So... I feel like that's not that bad of a thing. But we should probably cancel this enactment. It is sad, but we'll have to placate them. And bring them back into our government once we can. But that'll have to take away. Hmm, minus 5% authority or minus 50% migration attraction? Eh, gross. But okay. So we're spending down our finances here. These guys need to get out of their revolution. What do we do for laws at this point? Well, there's not really anything that we can do. The landowners are being massive jerks right now. Oh, wait, they actually just got rid of their rebellion. So in theory, we can bring them back into government. There we go. That'll help matters, for sure. That will definitely help matters. Okay, so we are now down to 40k in interest. We've dropped our, our interest payments by like 30,000. All of these being British subjects now are very, very awkward. And I do think that breaking free of Great Britain is the way to go here. The question is... Would France join? Wait, we don't have independence available? We're both already part of a different diplomatic play. So that is this diplomatic play here. That Britain started. Okay, noted. So we'll have to wait until that's done. That's fine. It is past time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to work heavily on breaking free of Great Britain. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, su subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogan, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Rogue Corbett, Anna the Elephant, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will be seeing you all next time.